Welcome back. After losing their beloved pet to cancer last year, our next guest right here decided to get running to help find a cure for these cutie patooties. That's right. right. Matt and Kelly Owen are taking part in their first marathon in Alaska. And you can help cheer them on from right here at home. Aww. All right. Now, before we get into this, to the marathon itself, can we talk a little bit about your personal story? Because, you know, Ryan sure. and myself are both pet owners, just like many at home watching as mm -hmm. well. And this is a, a personal issue, isn't right. it? Right. It's a part it of the is. family. Uh, we lost our, our male dog, uh, Anfield, last year in March. And uh, it, it, he died of cancer. It showed up as a, as a mass on his chest. Oof. And. Uh, we went to the vet nine times in 16 days. It was a very aggressive form of cancer. Very quick then. Yeah, very quick. quick. Yeah. We had to put him down. And uh, we got Huxley as a, a companion replacement for Isis, who's eight. Huxley's 15 months old. Mm. And he's a little and he's rambunctious. He's the bigger one over here, yeah. <laughs> he's the one who's already tired. Yeah, yeah he's tired. Floor. Believe me, yeah. he won't stay on the floor for long. <laughs> Look at that. Now, and you guys were doing research on this, and you found out that canine cancer is just as widespread as it is in humans. Apparently, uh, canines get cancer at the same rates as humans. Wow. Uh, and we, we discovered this uh, once we started researching a, uh, a, a cause to run for, um, in a, for our marathon. Uh, we. We decided to run a marathon, it was New Year's resolution, and we decided to run a destination marathon to give us the impetus to actually make sure we did it. So we chose Alaska, wow. as far away as possible. Wow. <laughs> and uh, at that point, we decided we should raise money for a good cause. And obviously, this was something <laughs> close to our hearts. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely and you know, especially when you have an animal that is eight years old and young, they, they get close into your heart and it's hard. What was it like when you found out that first time you had cancer? Devastating. Mm -hmm. uh, it happened so quickly. We we tried to do research, you know, to to find out what we could do for him. But considering the the aggressive form that he had, there really was nothing but to offer him as much comfort as we could. Luckily, Charleston does have a uh, dog oncologist or an, uh, a pet oncologist, Dr. Taylor, and she. Uh, She's quite a resource uh, to have in the low country for people who, whose dogs are, or animals do have cancer. Oh. Yeah, because they can't, they can't tell us their symptoms, yeah. you know. We no, have to hard. learn to identify them. And like, you know, with, with mm -hmm. people, you know, they pretty much can tell you, but, you know, they need a voice too, and it's really tough uh, to is. diagnose until, of course, in your situation where the lump right. actually formed itself there. So, very important issue. And I know I, I can't imagine going through that. So. Uh, our sympathies go out to y'all. And people can donate in your honor for the marathon. Not yes. in your honor, but in their mm -hmm. honor to right. try to cure. Um, in, in deciding how we were going to raise money, we came across a website that, that links you to all sorts of nonprofit organizations. And uh, so we were able to set up a website, uh, and we've raised almost $3,000 so far. Wow. And there's the website, by the way, at the bottom of the screen there. It looks like uh, firstgiving.com. Yeah. Firstgiving.com forward slash Alaska. Okay. So when is the marathon planned? June 21st. Wow, so it's going to be a little warm there, right? Uh, it's about 50 to 70. Oh, that's oh, not bad. The training here is a little harder. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And is it your first marathon for both of you? It is. How is it hard, fun? What is, what's it like? It's not fun. Right? <laughs> it's not fun. Uh, It'll be fun when you cross the finish line. Yeah. That's right. And well, in honor of someone that you've loved so much. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Great. Good for you. For and how did, goodness. how's yeah. Isis along with her new brother? Tolerant. <laughs> She's, uh, she's very good. It took uh, about three weeks for her to get used to the new, the new dog, but you know, she, uh, she's very concerned when he goes to the vet or when he's somewhere and she can't see him, so they get along quite well. They're a good, they're a good match. They're a great right. match. Well, don't forget, you can go online to firstgiving.org, correct? Firstgiving.com forward, forward slash Alaska. There you yes. go, and we right have, there. And we have another dog entering the studio and uh -oh. uh, Huxley uh -oh. has identified. <laughs> <laughs> you can look at him. <laughs> she's like, I see He's like, you're in my turf. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank y'all so much. Thanks, this is guys. Thank you. Let us know how it yeah. comes. I will. Yeah. Definitely sure. take yep. pictures, send it to us, and we'll keep you updated right here on Look Country thank Live. You. Thank All right, stay with us. We're going to keep on track here for the animal theme, as I mentioned. We have another dog that's entered the studio with pet helpers. But Isis is not really Isis, doesn't, Isis don't care. Huxley, though, she's protecting Isis. Oh we'll tell you uh, who the pet of the week is when we come back. Stay with us. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog.